Hi everyone, big Paulie back for a brand new video. I am over here in Ramsgate. I've come for one thing and for one thing only. Insidious. Yeah, I'll talk a little bit about it in a minute. Just parked up in the multi-storey car park. Um, I've never known a multi-storey car park not to have lifts, but should we go and have a look at the lifts in this multi-storey? Okay, so here I am going into the car park. I'm disabled, I'm in a wheelchair, I can't go up the stairs. There's the lift. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you get up the top ones, you probably have to go up the ramp. Anyway, let's get out of here and let's get to uh, our destination. Okay, so why have I come to Ramsgate, I hear you ask? This car is trying to mount the path and run me over. Jesus. Flip in, Nora. Get off the path because cars have to use the path. Yeah, I am over here. Um, I need to find Insidious, the last key. Now, I've looked on Amazon, uh, HMV, Zavi, all sold out eBay stupid prices one item 31 pounds and 26 bids CEX seems to be the cheapest option they're all about between 11 and 15 pound on eBay but on CEX they're 12 quid and I noticed that there's one in stock here in Ramsgate so we're going to go to HMV no we're not we're going to go to CEX we're going to hope it's not a cover reprint we're gonna hope they've got it in stock. So uh, let's go and find it. We oh, looks a jolly king, doesn't he? The town is up this way. Okay, so it is down here, and there it is. Right, okay, let's go in and have a look. success they did have 
Jackie Brown still book, which goes for silly money, oh, it's raining, um, on eBay. But I had a look at it, they wanted 20 quid for it, but dense scratches, so I left it. So um, let's go and have a look, see if we can find a charity shop or two before we head back to the car. Okay, as it happens, pretty much right opposite CEX, is a cancer research. So yeah, let's pop in there and let's uh, have a look, see if they've got any uh, Blu-rays or DVDs. Oh, 4Ks. Okay, so they've only got DVDs in here, two or three shelves. All very common titles, nothing very interesting. So yeah, let's uh, move on to the next one. Okay, nothing in there, just some DVDs. Let's see if we can go and find one more. Okay, there should be a British Red Cross shop up here somewhere. Just over the road somewhere. Can't see it, but let's walk a little bit further up. Okay, so here it is. Looks a little bit bigger, so uh, might have something in there. Let's go and have a look. Again, nothing but DVDs in here. Uh, again, very common titles. Uh, I mean, top hat, I don't know what that is, but yeah, very common stuff in here. Okay, there wasn't much in there, just a couple of shelves of DVDs. We've got this little hidden treasures indoor market. Don't exactly know what they sell, but can have a look. All knickknacks, pretty much second hand, really. They got a couple of, couple of shelves of DVDs here. Uh, there's a blue, well, just one Blu-ray there, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything. And they've got some stacks of CDs as well. Uh, they do have some movie-related stuff in here. Uh, they've got some Superman stuff. And lots, they seem to have a lot of these trading cards. Uh, got some figures, loose figures, and some uh, Funko Pops here as well. Uh, as you can see, there's yeah, some uh, Pez dispensers there as well with Yoda and some Batman stuff. Okay, so I was just gone into like a little shop to get a drink and a sandwich. Walked through the door, couldn't understand them. I couldn't read anything. I was, you know, where's the, like, the Seven Up and where's the sandwiches? Everything was foreign. It's like one of those Polish supermarkets. If I wanted Polish food, I'd go to Poland. We're in England where I want English food and drink. Oh, God's sake. Anyway, let's go back to the car. Okay, so here's the liftless car park. So if you're parked right up the top, oh, it says, yeah, that you don't park up the top there because apparently there's uh, lots of trouble with youngsters and the police won't respond. Yeah, apparently the, if something happens on the top two layers, the police won't respond to it. Okay, so... Uh, Let's go in. We're going to have to walk up the. Uh, well, we have to walk up the stairs anyway. Yeah, they must have some serious problems in here. Don't think those lifts are ever going to work again. They've even got water on the bloody doors, and someone set fire to it. Okay, look how much room there is for my car. It's about what a Blu-ray in, in width. So here's my car. so close, look at that. Gotta breathe in. <laughs> See, the thing is, these car parks weren't designed for the size of the cars that we've got these days. Some of these cars are really wide in here. And I mean, there's like a little mini metro there and there's barely a foot each side. So yeah, this is, must be a really old car park, but um, what are you to do if you've got such big cars? It's such a squeeze getting in here as well, even coming up past the ramps. So it's not a very good car park and uh, it is very run down. Hence fires, smashed windows and no one parks above floor, whatever. The top two floors, because obviously there's kids or whatever, druggies and that kind of stuff. But anyway, we're done here. I've got me a uh, movie. I'll show you a little bit more closer when we get home because uh, it's quite dark in here. So yeah, let's get on the road and let's get back home. Okay, so back from Ramsgate. 
Uh, Ramsgate has gone down the drain, in my opinion. Yeah, it's the same as a lot of these little quaint seaside towns. Margate was a total crap hole. Um, in the town, you know, outside of the town, the seafront is really nice. And um, Ramsgate's pretty much the same way. Dover, my hometown here, is starting to look grubby. We've got uh, empty shops every other every other shop, but they are putting money into Dover. Uh, I mean, they did spend three million pound on some giant cock rings that blow out cool air. So, <laughs> yeah, priorities. Plus, they're putting, I think they're putting 120 million pound into Dover or something. Yeah, well, that'd be all. That, that'd pay for next year's Blu-ray collection. <laughs> anyway, so we are back from CEX. So, yeah, it's only one pickup. Nothing in the charity shops. Out of the charity shops that we went in, I found one Blu-ray. That was it. But anyway, here we go. This is what I was after. Insidious, the last key. This was £12, which is probably going to be about the cheapest that I'm going to get it anywhere. Um, I could have ordered it online, but the pricing has gone up for shipping to like three quid nearly, two ninety nine. Then again, I could have uh, ordered it and had it delivered to the store in Dover, but I figured it's only like 20, 25 minutes from me. I'll take a trip down there. So yeah, there we go. So this is the only one that I was missing. I've got the first two movies in a double pack. I've got Insidious 3, and now I've got The Last Key. And uh, it's not one of those dreaded reprint covers either. So that's pretty good. Uh, doesn't have a slip cover, but I'm okay when it comes to Blu-rays and slip covers. You know, I've got to have a slip cover for me 4K. Uh, but when it comes to Blu-rays, uh, the first two films I've got with slip covers, but Insidious 3 hasn't got a slip cover. Anyway, so there we go. So there is the bag. And they've put the receipt in there. Yeah, £12. Uh, there's even a digital code in here for the last key which I'm, I don't even know if this kind of thing works anymore. But there we are, there's the Insidious, the last key. There's the digital code. I don't even think we have any platforms to, to do them on these days, so I'll just bin that. And there is the Blu-ray. There we go. Yeah, and I did make sure it was what it should be before I left Ramsgate, and it's absolutely spotless. Just... One or two little minor fingerprints, so fantastic. So yeah, I'm glad this, I'm glad this, I'm glad this what? I'm glad this is in my hand. I'm glad I got this uh, being out of print, not being able to buy it from Amazon, Zavi or HMV. And um, yeah, uh, I did actually think about going up to Sittingbourne last week to buy it because there was one in Ramsgate and there was one in Sittingbourne and I've been to Sittingbourne a few times. They had a lot of steel books in there and we did a few charity shops. Uh, and the next time I looked, it had gone from Sittingbourne. So somebody had snapped it up. So uh, now all I have to do is buy the new one when it comes out. I probably won't go to the cinema to see the, is it the Red Door? Um, wasn't that Shaking Stevens? Behind the Red Door. Oh no, that was Green Door, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I'll wait for that to come on Blu-ray. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. It's now 20 to 2 on a Friday. And in 40 minutes, I'm going to watch Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning in IMAX. Fan-bloody-tastic. So until the next video, bye-bye.